Okay. Minister Zulu is supposed to reply to this question. The Honourable Minister's mic is muted at the moment. Can you just unmute, Honourable Minister? Thank you very much, um, Chairperson. Um, Honourable members, uh, thank you, uh, firstly, Honourable Mishwe, for your, for, your, for your question. And the Department of Social Development spends more than 180 billion on social grants per annum to support vulnerable and poor individuals in South Africa. It is important to note that our current social grants, excluding the SRD, mainly support those who are outside of the labor market, such as the elderly, children, and people with disabilities. The department is currently in the process of finalizing a framework for linking social protection beneficiaries, including able bodies dependent on social grants beneficiaries to sustainable livelihoods. And again, the issue of able bodied is for some discussion from, for some other time. The target group will be broader than just the social grant beneficiaries, will include other members in their households who can benefit from such assistance. These will also include social relief of distress beneficiaries, those who receive a food parcel of frequent community nutrition development centers, which we call CNDCs, targeted communities such as the Khoisan and those who have dropped out of other government programs, such as the EPWP program. The framework, as mentioned, will be implemented during the 2022-23 financial year. And the objectives of the framework are to, amongst others, contribute towards creation of employment opportunities and thereby reduce levels of poverty, hunger, unemployment, and inequality, provide for an integrated approach to poverty alleviation and reduce intergenerational poverty, empower and strengthen the income, assets, and capabilities of social protection beneficiaries and enable them to achieve sustainable livelihoods. And lastly, create a gateway to opportunities that will promote self-reliance. I thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honourable Minister. The first supplementary question will be asked by the Honourable Meshu. Thank you, thank you, Chair, and thank you, Honourable Minister, for that reply. South Africa currently has more grant recipients than salary earners, and millions are still waiting to hear the outcome of their grant applications. According to the senior economist at the efficient group, Dr. Francois Stoffberg, we have about 19 million South Africans living on social grants and 14.9 million who have jobs. And this is totally unsustainable. Order. May I ask the Honourable Pusher, please switch off your microphone. You are disturbing the sitting. Please continue, Honourable Member. Given the appalling state of filth from uncollected rubbish and neglected drainage in many CBDs and townships throughout the country, which threatens residents' health and safety, Honourable Minister, I want to know whether you have considered to the urgent employment for people on grants to clear away rubbish and clean ditches. This would be vitally important for public health and safety and would give the unemployed an opportunity to do something worthwhile with their hands and earn an income. This, I believe, will help those who are on the system of grants look forward to the day they will be removed and when they will be able to have jobs to satisfy and look after their families. Thank you. The Honourable Minister. Um, thank you very much, Honourable Chair and Honourable Meshwe, for that uh, uh, question. I firstly want to uh, make a distinction and a very clear distinction, uh, Honourable Members, between the people who receive the social grants and the reasons why they receive the social grants. Firstly, the grants, as I indicated earlier on, it is grants that are given to the elderly. And there is just no way that, that we can want to start removing the elderly from the social grant because they are already in pension and they deserve 
uh, to have that money. And maybe may I also remind um, the, the, the honorable members that the majority of our people who are elderly, who are dependent on the social fund, many of them didn't call for what is happening to them. Many of them didn't have jobs at the time when they were supposedly the sole uh, abled body. Many of them were not even, even able to save as much money for their future and for their retirement because they were busy taking care of their children and grandchildren, and they were earning miserable salaries at that. And some of them actually didn't even work or didn't get any salaries at all. So there must be a distinction. And then others are receiving the social grants because they are in the indigent uh, register or they are children who, um, whose mothers have to take care of them because some of the fathers are nowhere to be found to take care of the children. And lastly, some people are also uh, disabled and that disability, they did not call it upon themselves. And therefore there are those people who our government, as according to the constitution, must take responsibility of because they are unable to take care of themselves. And then I will go to those that are unfortunately not finding jobs because jobs are not uh, are, are available and the economy is not doing that well. Yes, I will agree that those that are, are, are can be able to find jobs and can work. And I do want to say that my experience uh, with the South Africans, the majority of whom are unemployed, it's not to say they don't want to be employed, they do want to be employed, but the conditions at the moment are such that jobs are hard to come by. And lastly, COVID has also devastated our economy and therefore a lot of jobs have also been lost. So when all is said and done, yes, we have to take responsibility and help those that are, that are not as privileged as some of us are, who cannot take care of themselves, not because they called it upon themselves, because the conditions are very difficult. And yes, honorable measure, we do everything we can on our side as government to look for opportunities, including the EPWP program that we encourage people to participate. Honorable Minister, your time has expired.